Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember, click here to check out our brand new app-based NCLEX product, loaded with the highest quality NCLEX style practice questions and complete with detailed video rationales that break down the question for you. So finally master all those darn select all that apply questions. Plus, all our NCLEX memberships come included with our entire library of over a thousand videos and study guides and cheat sheets. Come see why over a hundred thousand students have trusted their future to simplenursing.com. Click here to get started for free. Blood spectrum antibiotics are psyllins and sporins. Guys, the mechanism of action is that it weakens or destroys the bacterial cell wall, causing lysis or death. So for penicillin, they end in psyllin, like amoxicillin or ampicillin, and even pepercillin and tazobactam, which is kind of the outlier there. Now cephalosporins start with ceph, like cephalexin, brand name Keflex, and cephazolin, and even ceftriaxone, the brand name rocephin. Now both are considered pregnancy safe and breastfeeding safe, but there are some specific differences. For example, Penicillin causes accidental pregnancy since it bumps the pill. Again, guys, the key words here are oral contraceptives are ineffective and use additional contraceptive like a IUD. And C for CEPHs can cause C. diff, guys. They do not treat it. Now, this was a common test question on HESI and ATI asking for the treatment of C. diff. No, 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 guys. CEPHs do not treat C. diff. So the key point and memory trick here are the three C's. C for cross sensitivity or allergy to both cephs and psyllins. Guys, the key point is checking the allergy before giving either. Since these drugs are structurally and chemically similar, cephs and psyllins, they can't be mixed. And an allergy to one usually means an allergy to the other. Now you can mix nearly every other antibiotic except cephs and psyllins. And 40% of students usually get that wrong on exams. So common NCLEX terms are anaphylaxis reaction between psyllins and cephs. Guys, the nurse should always clarify the prescription and always request a new medication. Now anaphylaxis occurs more with penicillin than any other drug. And since allergies can range from mild to severe, guys, the key point during a reaction, write this down, Stop or hold the medication, then assess the type of reaction and always listen to the lungs or auscultate the lungs. Lastly, epinephrine, prepare to administer. We're always assessing for the type of reaction first. Common on the NCLEX and exit exams, we do this before calling the doctor or HCP and before calling pharmacy. Guys, assessment always comes first and then intervention second. Now, as far as administration with psyllins, the key terms here are we take with food if GI is upset, so nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, and we shake well before using it, always shaking it before we are taking it. Use a correct measuring device, Doppler or oral syringe, guys, never a household spoon, usually a common distractor there. And lastly, common side effects. Cephs, we usually get diarrhea, but commonly antibiotics cause diarrhea anyways. And psyllins, big keyword here is bleeding, so we monitor the platelet count. Watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.